What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Poppy JT. And I'm bringing you my Chicago Bears 2018 training camp preview. Now, in this video, I will be previewing the Chicago Bears training camp that they have already have attended. They're currently at the site right now. And I'm going to talk about what players to look out for and what to expect. So here we go. So on the defense side of the ball, the players that we want to watch, well, the first one being Jonathan Bullock. Now, Jonathan Bullard, excuse me, I said Bullock. Jonathan Bullard is supposed to be taking the place of the former starting defensive end for the Chicago Bears, Mitch Yearin. Now, Bullard had a productive season last year, even though he didn't start. He had 25 tackles, one sack, two tackles for loss, and a forced fumble, and he got in in all 16 games. And the Chicago Bears have a lot of confidence in him. They selected him in the third round of the 2016 NFL Draft out of the University of Florida, and they feel that he could potentially be a big bloomer during this camp. So make sure to keep your eyes on him. Next up, Kyle Fuller. He's probably number one on my list if you want to or if you're more interested in Raquan Smith. He's still one of the most interesting players to look at at this Chicago team. Now, Kyle Fuller this past free agency was a restricted free agent. Now, he was about to sign with the Packers, but since he's a restricted free agent and not an unrestricted free agent, your team has the opportunity 24 hours or 42 hours i believe to match whatever offer that team offers to retain the player they want so green bay had a huge offer and chicago matched it because they have a lot of faith in will fuller and well now that he signed that lucrative deal a lot is expected out of him now last season he played in all 16 games he had 68 tackles two interceptions and he had a career high of 22 pass breakups and that was the second most by a Bears player since 1991. Now he also had a breakout game against the Cleveland Browns. I don't know if that's anything to be noteworthy about considering that they went on 16 but he had six pass breakups six pass breakups that game and that was the most pass breakups by an NFL player in 2017. Now, he needs to get better in anticipating passes and his ball skills need to get a little bit better so he can increase his chances of getting more interceptions this season. But overall, he should be pretty good this coming season. He should improve on that this training camp. Another player, which I personally am interested in, is the second year player from second year safety out of Alabama, Eddie Jackson. Now he was selected in the fourth round in the 2017 draft out of the University of Alabama. And after a valuable year of experience under his belt, uh, press of rookie season, he's looking to build off that. He started all 16, all 16 games last year. He had 70 tackles. That was third on the Chicago Bears defense. He had six pass breakups, two interceptions, and a team high of three fumble recoveries and one forced fumble. And he also had a, I believe it was in an even uh, interception return or fumble, re fumble return, I'm not sure. Now on the offensive side of the ball, I wanna talk about Mitchell Trubisky. Now, Mitchell Drabisky, he's the quarterback, so of course he's going to have the most attention going on him because he's the leader of the team. He's the person that the players look up to for the play calling. And Mitchell Trubisky had a pretty decent rookie year. And now we're now with what now he actually has a receiving core with Allen Robinson, the number one wide receiver. He has Jordan Howard and Tyreek Cohen. The offensive line is probably still one of the top of the NFL. Top 15, maybe top 10 offensive lines in the NFL. So I'm eager to see how he improves with his footwork. His footwork was a little erratic at times this past season. So that's probably a big thing that he needs to work on. 
Allen Robinson, of course, coming off the torn ACL injury that he suffered in the first game of the season with the Jacksonville Jaguars against Houston. Was going to see if he can get back to his productive self that he was a year ago when he had 14 touchdowns. And I think he will. I think he will be productive. It's been a lot of Chicago coaches and staff raving about Allen Robinson about how his recovery is going quicker than expected, and I'm eager to see what he'll do this season. I think he'll be pretty productive. I think he might be a pro bowler. This season. Now, lastly, I didn't mention this on my defense side, but I don't even know if he's at camp or not, which is why I didn't bring him up. But Raekwon Smith, now Raekwon Smith was the Chicago Bears' first overall pick of this has draft and he hasn't signed his deal yet but he's one of the fastest linebackers in the nfl well to enter the nfl he run a 4.51 in a 40 yard dash and that's the second fastest time among nfl linebackers and what really separates Raekwon smith from most of the other linebackers that were in this draft was his ability to anticipate his speed and his instincts now he also won the Buckets Award that got a, that was awarded to the best linebacker in the country. He won SEC Defensive Player of the Year. Helped Georgia make it to the national championship game, even though they choked. And what Raekwon Smith has to improve on the most is his block shedding. Now, if you put a big guy in front of Raekwon Smith, he's not going to shed the tackle for some reason, but if he can work on at least getting a little bit better of shedding those blocks, he'll be a force and a Pro Bowl player and a future Hall of Famer to look out for for these past years coming. So that's just a little preview of the Chicago Bears training camp 2018, what to expect, what to look out for. I'll keep you up for any news speculations, anything else about the Chicago Bears and training camp. And if you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the video, comment your thoughts. and.